everyone and welcome to another episode of the InstaBiz Coach Podcast. This is your host, Annabelle Martinez. And this podcast is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be our digital marketing one-on-one course. It's just the audio recording of it and you will be able to hear it. If you want to take the actual course, you can go to instabizcoach.com to take the full-on course with all the videos and showing you how you can create your brand kit, your logo, and your first social media post on Canva. We also have this course as a webinar. We're doing it monthly. If you're ready to start learning more about marketing, this is a great intro course for you. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Digital Marketing 101. This is your InstaBiz coach, Annabelle Martinez, and I'm so excited for you guys to learn everything about digital marketing, social media, Canva, meta business. There is a lot that we have to cover, and everything will be covered in this course. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So digital marketing is any content that you create online that can represent your business, both in person or printed material. Think of what are the elements of digital marketing? We have traditional marketing, which is known for being, you know, printed, using in-person marketing to reach your audience, you know, having more events or flyers. That is a traditional marketing. Now we move to digital marketing. Digital marketing is where we use the internet and other online and digital programs Email marketing uses email messages to promote your products and services. And then we have ad marketing. So ad marketing is when you pay for a platform to promote your marketing content. I created this little circle, which sounds a social media marketing cycle, I would call it. So you select a channel that you want to work with. You then create an account, update the bio and your description, follow similar accounts. You design your first post. You share your post, and then you start engaging with followers. You see who's commenting, who's liking. You can interact with other similar businesses commenting on their pages. And lastly, you would promote your business. You would promote your post, and you would probably pay for ad service on it. We're not going to cover too much on ad services. That will be another course. Then is when you do the ad marketing. But first, we need to focus on creating our social media platforms. So how do you use social media for your business? Now, social media platforms are very powerful tools within the larger digital marketing reach, right? Social media is probably where you're going to reach your most customers with the least amount of expenses. So here are some suggestions that I have when you're deciding on a social media platform. One is select one or two platforms to focus on. Two is post weekly on each platform, even once a week. Three would be connect with your community. Like I mentioned, follow other social media platforms, connect to the local chamber of commerce, make sure that you are being active on the platform. And four would be creating your own UGC, your own user generated content. That means that you are the one that is showcasing your product. You are the one that's creating reels. People want to know who you are as a business owner. Now it's okay if you don't want to be the face of your business, that is fine. It's just, it might take a little bit longer. So when you see the businesses that are doing well, right, it's usually because they are marketing themselves and they're marketing their business. So how does social media work? We're going to go through and cover Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok because those are the three that I recommend that you focus on. And you can focus on one or the other, or you can do all three. If you really have the time and you are like, I think I can benefit from all three of them, go ahead and do all three. So let's start with Facebook. I decided to pick Tough Mudder because they have events and they're also very community based because you have a lot of people who are athletes or runners. They are on Facebook groups, which is why Facebook is great for people who have like desserts and cakes. That is where Facebook comes in because you can also add your address, what services you offer. You can add any events. Instagram is great if you have a product or you have a storefront or a restaurant where you can show what type of products that you have. Now Instagram has added their shop feature, which you can go ahead and add your product product and there will also show up reviews on here and people can can see what other people are posting about it and they're tagging it on Instagram so it's kind of copying a little bit of how TikTok shop works Guru Nanda is one of the best TikTok shops and I'm sure they're making a killing because they are getting a lot of user generated content which means other users are just creating content and promoting this for them this product for them So there now you can go live and you can promote the product and people can shop right on the live site. I use Canva and Meta Business Suite. These are the only two platforms that I really use. So Canva is amazing because they have so many templates, but they also have a lot of other designers that are working on Canva that allow for you to use their templates as design options. 
So you can get creative on Canva and you can learn about different ways that people are promoting their business and also learn about different trends. Now we have meta business. This is after you have already set up your Canva, you created your post, you're ready to launch it on Instagram or Facebook. I highly recommend connecting the two. This is how it looks. You can decide if you want to post it separately on Instagram and Facebook, or if you want to make the exact same post. I love meta business now because you are able to post two in one. So let's move on and go over what is your business brand identity. So before you start doing any marketing, you need to have your brand identity. This is what everyone is going to see online and this is what you need to focus on. So in this course, I'm going to show you how to create your own logo, create your own brand kit, to start creating your social media posts. So the brand identity includes everything that comes from printing your social media your website design content marketing email marketing anything that has your logo on it or your business name is part of your brand identity so the first thing that you need to do is find a name for your business you want to make sure that it is descriptive enough that it has you're using the words of your product or service for example anna's bakery massage palace this information is these words are key words and that is why it's important to use those in your business even though you might think oh i want to name it my own personal name it's like okay you could you can do that it could be your name just make sure you add bakery after that so you could still call it anna's everyone will call it anna's okay but legally it's going to say anna's bakery and on google business it will also say anna's bakery and that is how seo works so the search engine optimization will say oh bakery when someone looks up bakery they're not going to look find anna right it's going to look up bakery and yours will be one of the first to pop up if that's how if you continue using the word bakery in all of your platforms now you also want to make sure that it's catchy and memorable you want to make sure it's short and simple that it's not complicated to look up remember everyone's going to say oh what was the name of that business again let me look it up and if they don't remember it they're not going to be able to go and visit you they're going to it's going to be a difficult it's going to be difficult for them to find you and lastly you want to make sure that your name your business name is available you want to make sure your domain is available your social media handles and then eventually for your trademark usually if your domain and your social medias are available then the trademark that means someone out there is also starting a business like yours let's say but they're not getting as ahead as you are so it's okay if someone else has a similar name if you're they're not like a franchise or like they have multiple locations then it shouldn't be a problem you could still take that name all right let's talk about color palette this is my favorite part of the process because you get to go on pinterest and you get to look at other businesses like yours that have cool color schemes and that is where you get the ideas from and that's where you get the oh yeah this color would go with that oh yeah this color reminds me of this this color goes with that product or that service and remember you can always change this in the future like the colors a little bit but usually once you already have your color scheme that's how it's going to roll out for the rest of the business timeline in years now let's move on to the logo once you create your logo then you can have different variations of your logo but you can't use different fonts or change the color on your logo because then you're off brand, right? That's when people say you're off brand is because you're not following along for the brand kit, right? The brand identity. Okay. So now that we are up to date on what we need to do, we need to do the color palette, the logo, and then we will do a social media post using your logo. Now for this example, we are going to create a logo for a granola that we will be making like a product. Let's say that you are a small business and you want to create a product. This is how you would do it by creating your brand, your logo, and then your first social media posts. So since we're going to do this granola earthy, we want to find some ideas of similar granola brands or other similar concept of the business. Now here we have our brand kit, our template that you can use. It's on instabizcoach.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to first get some inspo. Now at the bottom of this, we're going to add all of the images that we want to get ideas from. And also the colors are very important. You want to make sure that the colors that you're pulling in these images are going to be the colors that you might use for your color palette. And this is how you can pull it with that little tool. You find the color and it'll pull the exact color match. Here are some other ideas of logos and now that we are starting to see what we want I know that I want some yellow in it I want it to pop so I'm gonna go with this one here it's a very simple logo but I want to show you guys how you can layer things 
So this is a front layer and the back one, you also want to make sure that's the same wording, but when you double click on it, you can position it, bring it to the front or you can send it to the back. And this is something that you guys need to know because um, it's something that I use all the time on Canva when I'm designing. So you see how I moved it to the back and now you could bring it to the front. And this is where a lot of people get stuck and I'm like, oh, it's just the layers. Okay, so now I want to show you guys how you can change the colors. We want to change the background to be all white or neutral because we want the transparent background when we download the logo and I'm going to mess around with the different colors to see what will pop a little bit more. Um, and again, this is just a, a quick logo example that I'm giving you guys. We're not going to print this out or anything, but I'm going to show you how we can go from the logo into the brand kit. And then from the brand kit, we can go ahead and start creating our posts. So here I'm going to add one example of the logo. You can create other versions of your logo with the same colors. And then you also want to make sure that you have the same fonts. Now here you can get other ideas for font samples. And from here you can click on it. It'll give you the template and then you can just pull it and find it on the fonts that they have. If you also have a font that maybe you found somewhere else, you can download it and upload it right on Canva. There's a lot of things that you can do on Canva, which is why I love using it. And I, that's the only software platform that I use for content creating really. And sometimes I use CapCut for video reels. Okay. So now that we have our logo we can go ahead and start to create our first social media post here you can also create labels they have a lot of great label samples but i want to just make a simple post showing the product and let's assume i don't even have the physical product i just have a picture of one and i want to showcase that so i like this one i have the image here of the granola in the bag and all i need to do is remove the background which is one of the effects that they have here and then I want to remove the one that's behind it, but you want to match as much as possible because once you start moving things around in the template, then you're pretty much designing it on your own and then you want to switch things up. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible for this example. I want to show you how we can uncurve or curve even more. It's also under effects you over, you highlight the tile, the text, and then it'll um, give you those options. Now I want the image to be a little bit brighter in color and to stand out more so then I can just go right in here and edit the I can edit anything on the image here and then you just add your custom items you can add your business name you can add your brand identity on Canva you can add your whole brand identity but here we're just gonna either you can copy the whole logo or you can save this logo as a, this will be your template, your logo template. So you might as well download it. You can remove the background. So it'll be transparent background, and then it'll just show up and save as your logo without that white background. A lot of people don't know how to do this. And I just showed you guys. So this is pretty much what I do with all of my logos or any, um, post that I want to download that I don't want that background in. So now all I'm going to do is remove this and add the logo and voila, we now have a product sample that we can post and this could be your first social media post. That's how quickly you can get your business up and running on social media. I, I just showed you guys how to create your logo, your brand kit and create your, fir your first post within less than an hour. Okay. So you went ahead and created your now Go ahead and decide on what platform you're going to post on. You go ahead and create the post. Now let's do the content calendar, right? You're like, I have all these ideas. I want to post them all at the same time. Don't do that because it's going to be a waste of your time and everyone is going to get annoyed of seeing so much of your post. So you want to separate it out and we're going to go into what content calendars I use, Canva or Meta Business Suite. And then after that, you go ahead and schedule it to be posted online. So let me show you how the Canva content calendar and the Meta Business content calendar look. So this is the Canva calendar. I love using it because it gives you a bunch of ideas and you can automatically just upload the post that you're creating right onto the calendar. So see how easy it is to just click on this and you can just add your description. You can add when you want it to be posted. And then you can just add what social network you want it to be shared on. And it's super simple, which is, I'm surprised a lot of people don't use it. And I think it's because it's part of the paid feature, but I believe it's 10 to $15 for Canva pro, which you have unlimited access to all of the images, all the videos, and also to just unlimited 
Canva content calendar, which is amazing. And it, for that price, I mean, compared to other content calendars, it's pretty much free. So I highly recommend getting the Canva premium and being able to use all of the online tools that it's giving you. Podcast one. So here, here's how you can see the schedule and you can add any new things or here it gives you like an idea. This is like for Earth Day and it gives you some templates. So that's why Canva content calendar is super cool. And next I'll show you the meta business content calendar because this one works great if you're using both platforms. So if you're connecting Facebook and Instagram, I would say just use meta business content calendar. It might push your things more than the Canva content calendar just because that is a third party and this is the meta. Again, meta is Facebook and Instagram. Meta is the main company behind it. So on this meta business content calendar, you can see how it's going to look both on your Facebook and your Instagram. So maybe you want to upload a image for your Instagram and a reel or a video for your Facebook or vice versa. If you want to do reels, now you can do reels both on Instagram and Facebook. So I highly recommend using the meta business center calendar. And if you want to learn more on how to use it and any other marketing tools that you might have questions on that you'd like to use, like other third parties, like later or Hootsuite or any email marketing platforms, we can help you at Instabest Coach and navigate those. Okay, so now you can also schedule this here and we exit out and this is where you could see, even if you shared a post, it's gonna show on here and it'll show you how many views you've received on it. So you can also set goals through the Meta Business Content Calendar, which is pretty cool. I since raised it, I think I was doing 10% and I raised it to 25% because I it, it's, it's nice to be able to be like, okay, yeah, these are actual numbers, right? And you can see the goals that you can make. And if you have clients, you can also show these numbers to your clients. So let's go over your digital marketing 101 course. The first thing is design, right? We use platforms like Pinterest to get inspiration for your marketing designs and campaigns. You want to test different templates and platforms on Canva to see what trends are happening right now. Then you want to go ahead and post. You start posting on your social platforms. You want to be consistent. Use your content calendars. You also want to view what other businesses are doing and posting so that you repost similar content and that you stay in the, within the algorithm. And lastly, you want to engage. As your followers begin to grow, and you continue posting, you want to make sure you are being responsive to your messages and your comments because they want to make sure that there is a person behind the brand. And of course, you want to support other and of course, you want to support other small businesses by leaving comments, likes, or reviews on their business pages. And then you just repeat the process and you continue doing it over and over again. You really do learn to love this process because there's always new trends. And the best thing is when you can apply your business to any of those trends. I know that was a lot of information. You guys learned so much about digital marketing and I can't wait for the next course where we'll teach you on how to be a digital marketing manager for small businesses because that is what's needed. Like I mentioned, marketing is important to be handled within the business. That means that the business owner knows what is being posted. And if you have a digital marketing manager that you can work with, it makes your life a lot easier because they can bring you the ideas and you can just approve or deny. Congratulations, you finished the Digital Marketing 101 course with Instabiz Coach. You now understand what digital marketing is, how social media works, and how content creation and content planning is very important to be able to meet your marketing goals and be able to grow your business. Now that you have learned a little bit about marketing, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our coaches or myself. I am so happy that you are part of the Instabiz Coach community, and I hope to see your business growing and succeeding. Thank you guys and congratulations again on completing your digital marketing 101 course with Instabiz Coach.